right, welcome back into Market Day Report. I'm Scott Shelley, otherwise known as the Cow Guy. Thank you very much for tuning us in here today. Let's take a look and see what we've got going on in the markets. That's really what you want to see. You don't want to hear me talk, but here we go. Corn's down four and a quarter cents in SEP. Uh, 378 and a half is last for just a half cent off the lows. And that's about a six cent range. Uh, 378 and a quarter now. Uh, Dece, that's off by four and a quarter cents to 395 and a half. And that's just off the lows by a quarter cent too. No buyers here today, folks. That's what's happening in corn. Uh, what about beans? Anything different there? A little bit of the same, maybe a little bit more. Uh, September's down six cents to 1008 and a half. A penny and a half off the lows of the day there. You go out to the new crop, no, that's down seven and a quarter cents to 1015 and a quarter, two cents off the lows of a 13 cent range. All right, that's soybeans. Let's move over to the wheat in Chicago. Chicago wheat's off by about four to five cents here. We got a SEP board down five and a quarter cents to 522. It's still about two and a quarter cents off the lows. March is off three and three quarter cents to 569 and a half, and that's two cents off the lows there. And that's about a 13 cent range as well. All right, let's move to the hard red in Kansas City from Chicago. Three and a half cents lower there, and that's September contract to 545 and a half. Uh, March is off three and a half cents to 577, and that's just two and a half cents off the low as well. So hard red wheat acting like the others so far. Let's take a look at spring wheat in Minneapolis. Three cents lower, and that's subcontract to 578 and a half, just a half cent off the lows of a 10 cent range. March, it's down two and a half cents to 616 and three quarters. A tick off the lows of a 10 cent range there. All right. And then we finish up with cotton. Let's go to that Dees cotton. That's the new crop. 67 points lower there to 68. 32. All right, let's bring in our guest analyst. That's going to be Mr. Ted Seifert, Zaner Ag Edge. Ted, thanks for uh, being on. All right, brother. Um, I don't know. I wish we had better news, but uh, have a stab at it. See what you got. Yeah, man, I, I'm with it. Like I was hosting radio yesterday afternoon, and then it's the first day that corn, uh, December corn closes below four bucks. And I don't know. It's just not a it's not a great mood right now, you know. Uh, and, and, you know, the hope was that we'd get this turnaround Thursday based on some solid export sales. And although the export sales were, were decent, you know, they were certainly right in the range of guesses, maybe even you could say towards the higher end of guesses, like nothing really disappointed. Um, even the old crop soybeans are pretty good. Yet that wasn't enough to really get us excited. I, I think the biggest problem that we have here, Scott, is we're looking at the six to 10 and eight to 14 day outlooks that are, well, showing pretty much above normal chances for rain uh, everywhere and below nor average to below normal temperatures. Uh, I mean, I, look, if we're being really picky, you could say soybeans like a little heat, but they're getting that now. So I don't know, man. It's just really not much in the way to say, hey, there's something to scare the market, you know, here going on in, in August weather wise. It doesn't seem that way. It seems to me that if we're going to have a weather issue at this point, it's going to be a damage story, you know, derecho, frost. Uh, I'll probably be the first person to say frost on the show. And those below number temperatures. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> um, I, yeah, yeah, I mean, maybe what if they trim some acres in this report? I don't know. I mean, that could be something too, right? Sure can. Uh, the harvesting acres number could come down a little bit, you know, but also yields potentially could go oh, higher. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah, I don't know. You know, it's tough. Um, I, I don't think there's much changes to be made on the demand side of the equation. I wish we had a demand story where I could say, oh, my, the USDA is way too low on exports would be the, the the obvious one but that's just not the case um you know i don't know but yeah we'll see what they say i, I just i think they're gonna maybe do a couple little tweaks in both directions but i, I don't think our balance sheets are going to change that dramatically i think the september report is going to be the big one all right stay right there we're going to go away we're going to pay some bills we're going to come back and talk more with uh, ted cyber zanarak edge right after this all right, welcome back. Let's talk about some livestock, right? That's where maybe we've got some better news, but maybe not today. This is kind of leaking, leaking away on us as well. Uh, live cattle, look at this. We've got a dollar forty-two lower, in, well, let's go to a dollar ninety-five lower in October. One eighty-four sixty-five is last there. We're about forty cents off the low of the day. Uh, you move out to Feb, that's two dollars and twenty cents lower there to one eighty-six sixty-five. Live cattle, they've rolled over on us here, folks. Let's take a look and see what the feeders have done. And uh, they're in sync with the live cattle. They've also rolled over. Uh, we've got a September board down three dollars and seventy cents to two fifty three forty, uh, and that's about forty seven cents off the low. Uh, we move out to the nob. That's down three dollars and forty cents there at two fifty one seventy two, and again that's about uh, twenty five cents, uh, thirty five cents off the lows there. So there you go. That's feeders. So live cattle, feeder cattle, both kind of 
on their heels. Uh, but we have still got some strength in the lean hogs. It's only just. It's, it's enough strength to have a, up arrows on the day. But October's up 27 cents to 76.20, 65 cents off the low of the day there. And if you or 60, well, 55, sorry. And then we've got a nickel rise in the Ds. We'll take a nickel. 68.77's last there. All right, let's bring back in uh, Ted Seifert, Zanarank Hedge. Ted, thanks for sticking around. Well, uh, well, we do have some green on the screen and, and hogs, but uh, not very much. Yeah, no, I mean, this is a nice little hold day for hogs, uh, kind of confirming that this bounce off the low might be legitimate and we might have a low in place for hogs. The cattle complex is the big concern. As you know, we have this saying, the feeders are the leaders. Feeders are down sharply today. But not only that, they are breaking very key trend line support. They're breaking, you know, the, the 255 support that had been holding for the better part of a month. Um, this is a bad look on a chart. Now it's early in the day. We could save it. Hopefully, you know, maybe we're back to unchanged by the end of the day. But we're closing down here. Your technical traders are, are really not going to like the look of that October feeder cattle chart. And then, you know, how is that going to bode for live cattle, uh, which they are barely hanging on to that trend line support right here. So um, this is a this might be a statement day for the cattle market. I mean, we've been talking about a possibility of a correction here for quite some time. Uh, you might be you might be looking at that or, or the beginnings of it. All right. Great stuff as usual. Uh, have a safe trip. Uh, Ted Seifert, Zaner Egg Hedge. He's coming to us from Chicago. Bring it back here to Nashville and hand it back over to Tammy. All right. Good update. Thanks.